So as long as we were in that part of the world, Mom had never been to India, and she had never, of course, seen the Taj Mahal, and everybody must see the Taj Mahal. So we had a delightful trip all around India. And the night we went back to New Delhi, and the night that we were leaving for uh, to go back to Europe, um, all the planes from, in, from uh, India uh, tend to uh, leave very, very early in the morning or late at night or early in the morning, about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, in order to make their connections when they mm -hmm. arrive in Europe mm -hmm. on the other side. So uh, there was a dinner party given to us by the Oberoi family who owned oh, the yes. Oberoi Hotel. Yes. And it was a very long table, and Mom was sitting at the end of the table with some ladies. And she got up, and she said, I'll be back. And she disappeared for two hours. And she came back. There was a knock on my door. I opened the door, and there she was standing there with a diamond in her nose. <gasps> she had gone out. She did it. <laughs> <laughs> And, of course, I said the only thing that I could possibly, anybody in their right mind would say, I would say, what on earth possessed you to do that? So there was a complete role reversal. Oh, I was that's now funny. the parent, and she was the child being pierced. And it wasn't just a chip. No, it was an actual stone right there. Yes, you know? I saw it there. You remember that? <laughs> and so I said, when she described why she had done it, she recalled the time when she was a child, and her uncle Leo, coming from Poland, he was a great adventurer. He flew planes and do it all. And he had a subscription to the National Geographic's magazines, which she would look at. And she said, I would just look at all these exotic places in the world and the beautiful colors of India. And I always thought having a nose ring would be the ultimate exotic thing I could possibly do. Well, the fascinating thing, Ruta, is that the National Geographic's magazine wasn't published in color until the 1960s. So but she was she imagining. Saw it in color. She had a vivid imagination. Oh yes. And a very active fantasy life. <laughs>